Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey. And today I've got a mixer break on some sets that I'm putting together. So I went ahead and grabbed up some blasters, fat packs, and a couple little small packs trying to piece together some more of the sets that I'm currently working on. So we have two gravity packs and a fat pack of 2020 series one looking for some gold card inserts. The, uh, New current favorite, Diamond Kings, 2020 Blaster. The 2019 Gallery, still looking to pick up these Artist Proof cards to finish off this set. So there's four in this box. Hopefully won't get any duplicates. And the 2020 Tops Series 2. We'll start with Gallery, leave the rest in the background. And before we get started, if you're new here, click that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications, and uh, you'll be able to see our future rips on this channel. And if you like what you see, leave me a like, thumbs up, and comment below after the stream and let me know what you thought of these four products. You probably have seen most of them already. Diamond Kings has been pretty much uh, on the channel for the last couple weeks and 2020 series two blasters are fairly new to the channel i've only done one rip on those but the 2020 or the 2019 gallery i've done a multitude of rips this is what i'm after trying to finish that artist proof set and i whenever i see these boxes in walmart they are walmart exclusive so whenever i see them i will buy a blaster just to keep the search going and you never know what you might find in a box, so it's more fun to do it this way. And that's the Goldschmidt Musial and Kyle Wright Rookie. So it's more fun to do this way than just buy the card because this way you're actually, you rip these packs. There's a chance you might find some random number card. Biggio, Bryant, Tatis Rookie. See that right there in itself could potentially pay for this box as I drop the pack onto my foot. Definitely would like to pick those up in a uh, artist proof card. There's the McGuire masterpiece and I'm not sure if I already have it. If I do, I think I might. If I do, that will go off to Jay Hadley as most of my inserts tend to do for the McGuire, Goldschmidt, Yachty Molina, Frank Thomas, numerous players that he collects. I seem to pull a lot of those. There's the Babe Ruth Masters. So those are your inserts and the McNeil Rookie. So I will always save my rookie cards and my SPs, which the Ruth is an SP. Anything numbered over 150. We have a Heritage card in this one, so we'll see what this is. And it is the Machado Heritage, which I will set aside for my PC. Maybe send him into PSA and go ahead and have that done for my Machado collection. Fulton Navich, Taylor Ward, Ward Rookie. There's a Mancini, so there's another one. There's the artist, uh, featured artist card, which you don't get many of these. And Whit Merrifield. So last pack, and then we will be on to the Artist Proof. And we've got a green. So that's pretty sweet. Let's see. <laughs> it is Paul Goldschmidt. So we're pulling Goldschmidt numbers this week, numbered out of 250 by artist Kevin Graham. Shout out to Kevin Graham, who is a sub of this channel. So that's pretty cool. Nice artwork, nice pretty green. So we'll set that aside. So it looks like Jay Hadley of Jay's Openings will be getting two cards out of this break, potentially. I don't know if I have that Goldie or not. But this is what we're here for. Oh, sweet Eloy. That's a nice artist proof card. So we got the Yastrzemski, the Bieber, the Sean Anderson, and the Eloy artist proof. Which I know I just got my double of the Vladdy artist proof, which I'm probably going to send to PSA to get slabbed. And, uh, but that is it for gallery. I said, not a bad, not a bad box. Got some numbered cards, got some cards to send off to 
subscribers and friends of the channel and let me set those up there and let's do the let's do the top series one gold card insert card search this time looking for some short prints and then you know even some rookies or pc guys like nolan arenado opened a lot of this i've actually kind of forgotten about what they look like so there are my inserts santander wearing my favorite orioles jersey i like that maryland sleeve and mike fires So we're getting the two that probably have been seen the most out of the way first. Jacob deGrom, back-to-back -back Cy Young winner. Alex Young, rookie. We're going after the Ian Desmond, who's sitting out this season. Hoskins, Yelich, Baez, and Asuna. So... Real quickly, we'll we'll do what we always have to do with these and see if we got us a advanced stack card. And it looks like we did not. So moving on to the next one. And because I've opened the Diamond Kings more. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot my fat pack. I'm probably glad I bought this fat pack because I did not get a gold card out of any of the, either one of those packs. And I usually do pretty well in the single packs of getting a gold card. But Fat packs, you always have to worry about the corners. But let's see if we find something awesome inside of here. Flip. Hendrix. Soto. Austin Bars, then and now, Pujols, Hosmer, Trevor Bauer, Kyle Lewis, rookie in Turkey Red, Sean Murphy in Turkey Red, okay, so it doesn't look like I got uh, any kind of insert in this pack. Doesn't look like I got a rookie either. So no key rookies. And looks like no inserts as well. So that's kind of a bummer, but you can't hit on every single pack. Otherwise, the chase would not be any fun. So there was series one. No advanced stats. So moving on to the Diamond King. And see what we can find in this box. It's been pretty fun opening this product up. And it's always on the shelf right now. So that is one of the keys for me is since I don't pay these guys to overcharge me on the internet. I will take what Walmart and Target gives me. I will do the do the work and what's there is there. So this has been on the shelf and I'm actually enjoying it. And you're gonna see why I'm enjoying it. Eddie Matthews, Pete Rose, got the artist proof Josh Rojas, Donnie Walton and the aficionado Glaber Torres. That's a pretty nice, I mean, those are sweet looking cards. Absolutely love it. So an artist proof and an aficionado in the first pack. Like I said before, the this is sort of the Panini version of the Topps Gallery from what tops this is like panini's answer to that i guess there's a diamond king vladdy daddy and the mookie bets diamond king that's the all-time diamond king and that's the diamond king insert set so pretty nice start we should get a frame card in here we should get a 3000 card in here 
and artist palette in here and hopefully some kind of surprise and one more artist proof and oh there's my surprise Bruce Star Gatterall dual patch very awesome Dodgers pitcher I think they're expecting a lot of good things from him so let me go ahead and sleeve that up again love this product can I get enough of it there we go I wonder if it'll fit inside of this one yep like a champ it's always a crap shoot on these top loaders which one you you need so you just grab it out of the stack so there's the Gratterall rookie dual patch relic from what is the name of this set it's DKM so maybe Diamond King materials but very nice so that was what I was talking about with the cool. There's the Kyle Lewis rookie, and there is the artist palette, Javi Baez. Very nice. So that will be our hit for this blaster. That was a uh, nice surprise. Like I said, um, I've opened a few blasters, and I said a one of one. Got a relic. Got an auto out of the, uh, there's the Aquino rookie. El Tuve is the artist proof. You can see it down there in the bottom. And my 3,000 is stand the man. Okay, so we've got our 3,000. Ours pilot. Do we? We got an aficionado. Oh, we need to get our framed card still. And I guess the gallery of stars, which is, looks like it's in this pack. And the gallery of stars is Ronald Acuna. Let's see Atlanta up in the top corner try to show the shine so you can see it so framed card and I don't know what other surprise we should get I've lost track of what we have but one of them will be a frame and there's the other one's gonna be here the frame is right here you can tell Marte and it is the Christian Yelich blue border frame so these are pretty cool they have like a felt border around them so very nice, Yelich and the all-time Diamond King Stan Musial, and the Mickey Mantle Diamond King. And one pack left, so this should be a surprise because I guess the only thing missing is the end of zone card we haven't gotten. And we got it, that was a good call. So Randy Johnson, Artist Proof shows up in this one, along with the base. Kyle Seeger and the In The Zone, right on cue, Shohei Atani. As I said, love these inserts, this beautiful card. And it's always a pretty good player too. So the Shohei, Showtime, Atani. Thank you, Diamond Kings, once again for another fun box and the Gratterall patch. Now 2020 Series 2, which has started off very slow for me. I, you know, I tend to wait on boxes to appear on shelves. I actually found this one at the Walmart. So this one should have the, oh, uh, I was gonna say Pete Alonzo, but I do not see that. It says Empire State Award winners card. We will open from the bottom and pull them out. And we will see what our manufactured patch relic is. Very, very heavy card. But they are quite nice. I just The only problem I've had with them is the paint on the coin seems to want to wear out. I've had some errors on there. So we will have to, ooh, nice, nice 
Topps Chrome Turkey Red of Alex Young. And there is the Pete Alonzo insert, my first one of these. The Empire State Award winner, Life Begins at 40. Pretty sweet. So that is the Alonzo insert, which I'm very excited to be getting. I, off, I started with Tatis. There's my Martinez insert. Mookie Betts. Will Myers. Ivan Nova. And I will just do this on each one so I don't have to do it all at one time at the end. But this is... Uh, this set has been quite entertaining. Gonna rip me another hobby box here soon. There's a Freddie Freeman, which... Looks just like the opening day. Of course, this one was already designed, but opening day came out first, so kind of gave us an insight as to what they were going to look like. Cam Gallagher, he had to quarantine with the, the Rona. There's the Don Mattingly. I love these 85 All-Star cards. Pretty sweet. Got the Burke Turkey Red, Brandon Workman. Joey Gallo, Kevin Newman, Future Stars, Brian O'Grady, there's the Garrett Cole Yankee card, and Cam Gallagher was roommates with Ryan O'Hearn, who Ryan O'Hearn had to, came down with the, the C word, and he had to quarantine into a hotel room, so... Looks like Major League Baseball. Boom! There's my gold. Michael Kopech. That's a nice one. I hope Kopech plays this year. Gets some quality starts. Looks like show, uh, Showtime is going to get some, about 10 starts on Sunday. There's Mancini. I don't know if Mancini's being mobbed. I don't think he's being mobbed. I think he's doing the mobbing because looks like there was a walk-off win for the Orioles, which... I mean, that couldn't have happened very much. 54 wins, but you see your home run leader and RBI leader. They had a no qualifier on ERA. And Jonathan VR hit the longest home run. I would not have guessed that. But there's the Orioles. I'll keep that aside. Maybe go back and put their team card set together. And there's Fulton Navich. Got these all kinds of out of order, but let me see if we have any inserts here. We do not. So we did get our gold card. That's a plus. Kind of expect one in the uh, blaster box. I know they're not guaranteed, but I almost expect one every time. The garlic rookie. Oh, Eckersley short print. Bang. I pulled him out of 2019 as well. So the Dennis Eckersley SP. That's a very nice one. DeGrom and Grisham inserts. So we will not get another insert in this one since we got the Eckersley. But that was a nice find. I like those SPs and I like how they make the photo variations to where you can see them and you don't have to guess even though Eckersley would have been fairly obvious you know he wasn't a current player they're pretty easy to see there's the Jacob Stallings rainbow foil and the second Pete Alonso insert alone at the top we also got the Max Muncy turkey red the Keston here a gold cup card of course Keston played the end of last season. Pretty nice, 19 home runs, 2.1 more. So, expected to be a stud for a few years. Speaking of studs, Trey's Mancini's not going to be playing this season, you know, recovering from his, his cancer surgery. So he will sit out, but you can see he was a 3.6 war last year. Did not make the all-star team with his 38 doubles and 35 home runs. 
I mean, I just don't, I, I can't say a, a whole lot about it, but he had an excellent season on a bad team. But he will be sitting out this season, so if they do play all 60 games and the playoffs, which the playoffs would not include the Orioles to begin with, but he will lose out on some stat possibilities. And the Orioles are one cl season closer to losing him. Marcus Simeon. All right, now we got the Matt Olson. Maybe the best first baseman in the game. Defensively, probably definitely is. But look at those home run totals. Pretty good player. Eugenio Suarez, Turkey Red. Camargo, Toronto, and the Gio Gonzalez back with the White Sox. Or not back with the White Sox, back in the majors with the White Sox. Make sure I did not miss any. I did not. So final pack, and then we'll open up this medallion card. Again, if you guys are new here and you like this content, you like seeing this type of product, click that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and you will be notified the next video I post. And we got our third Alonzo, which is sweet. I only figured I would get two. But the third, bang, bang. That looks black. It is black. Numbered out of 299. So that is sweet. Love that. And the Clemens Turkey Red. Zach Plesak. That's got to be Dan Plesak's son, I would assume. Uncle. Okay. Dan Plesak is his uncle. You see Plesak and you automatically go back to that. So, Kevin Gosman, former Oriole, former Brave. If you don't believe me, there he is. I did not know he pitched with the Rids last year, though. Not a great season, like. Uh, career so far, but he was a former number one pick of the O's. So let's do a last check and we'll open up the medallion and see who we have. But it was a nice surprise with the Alonzo numbered card. It was hard to tell that black with that type of card. So here we go. Let's see who we get. Maybe get another Mancini because my Mancini is scratched. But no, it is Keston Hero. So, very nice. Again, this is what I'm having issues with. It's like the glue. This one actually does not have any scratches on the face, but I'm having problems with this paint on the face of some of them. But that is a nice looking card and I will keep it. Like I said, I'm slowly putting these together. One blaster at a time. 50 of these it takes to build the set so it takes a lot but this one's got some some edge where these are these are so heavy they're going to flop around so it's going to be hard to get these to stay in pristine condition with this paint here the glue that you can see that's kind of a foul right there it's underneath the plastic you can't do anything about that and then just the corners on these dark colors but all in all like I said I love these a big step up from the relics of last year so anyway thank you guys for watching and stay tuned and we'll see what our next video hopefully I'll be able to up you, update you on my 1992 black gold insert set binder very soon so until next time later